over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered to date. Most of these have been discovered using the transit and radial velocity methods. In this video, we're going to have a look at another method of detecting exoplanets, the direct imaging method, which to date has discovered just over 1% of known exoplanets. So how does this method work? The planets in our solar system don't produce any light of their own. The reason we can see them is because they reflect sunlight. For exoplanets, the same is true. They would shine by reflecting the light of the star they orbit. Because exoplanets lie at such large distances from us, it's extremely difficult to directly image an exoplanet because the light of the star easily overwhelms the reflected light from the planet. It would be like trying to spot the light from a firefly that is buzzing around a lighthouse while the beam from the lighthouse is pointing directly at you. If we can switch off or block out the light from the lighthouse, we can see the firefly. Although we can't switch stars off, what we can do is we can block out their light by using a device called a coronagraph and then we can see the exoplanet that's orbiting that star. This is an image of 2M1207b, the first exoplanet to be directly imaged and also the first exoplanet discovered orbiting a brown dwarf star. With direct imaging, we can also watch planets as they orbit their stars, as seen in this video showing four planets orbiting the young star HR8799. Direct imaging is still in its beginning stages, but as technology improves, we might even be able to use the method to identify atmospheric patterns, oceans, and even land masses on exoplanets. That's it for today. Join us again soon for another Observatory Online.